When most people think of Stoicism, the ancient Greco-Roman philosophy that guided great thinkers like Seneca, Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, they imagine an austere life of restraint, emotional detachment, and non-violence. However, a deeper look at the Stoic virtues reveals that while they did preach reasoned behavior and avoiding petty conflicts, Stoics were not absolute pacifists. In fact, they explicitly advocated using force as a deterrent and in self-defense when necessary. The Stoic ideals centered around four cardinal virtues wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. Courage, Andrea in Greek, especially pertained to perseverance, being unshaken by fear, and having fortitude in the face of indifferent circumstances. As the Stoic teacher Musonius Rufus stated, the courageous person is the person who can be fearless, great-souled, formidable, hardened against encountering dangers. This steely resolve extended to conflict and combat for the sake of defense and upholding one's rightful position in life. Epictetus made this clear in his famous discourse. If someone batters my poor body, I will take great pains over making my opinion about the event conformable with nature. The action which affronts me is not my own doing, but either enacted by others or arising by chance. What is truly mine is to decide what views to take. Marcus Aurelius reiterated this in his meditations, writing, If thou sufferest that there's no shame in that. If a man has nothing by which he judges and estimates the respective values of things, he will not regard even his own person as something great. In other words, Stoics did not view violence and force as shameful or to be avoided at all costs. Rather, they stressed maintaining reason, virtue and justice as the highest priorities. If using force was required to uphold those highest ideals in the face of aggression, then it was a permissible, even obligatory course of action. Historian Michael Trapp explains this nuanced Stoic view. Although the Stoics rejected the indiscriminate doctrine that anything sanctioned by nature was ethical, they accepted that retaliatory violence was legitimate. True Stoic cosmopolitanism preached an absence of hatred for other groups. It did not imply pacifism. Trap 2007. Cicero similarly argued that the wise person will never provoke conflict, but he will meet violence if it is directed against himself. On Duties 3.89, he further outlined clear exceptions when force could be used in cases of real and serious attack, or in extreme necessity. Ancient texts are replete with examples of revered Stoic figures who did in fact take up arms for defense and virtuous reasons. Cato the Younger, considered the ideal model of Stoicism, joined the civil war against Julius Caesar to defend the Roman Republic. After later being granted clemency by Caesar, Cato ended his life through the deeply Stoic act of suicide rather than live under a tyrant. So while the Stoics absolutely advocated against rash violence, aggression, holding grudges and vengeful thinking, they did see force as a reasonable response to defend one's life, well-being and principles in the face of true threats. As the modern saying goes they would not, in fact, simply, get knocked down and accept it. Through their courage, sense of justice and belief in upholding virtue, the ancient Stoics were willing to meet violence with violence if the situation demanded it. Ancient philosophers like the Stoics aimed to foster wisdom and help human beings achieve eudaimonia the highest form of ethical virtue and lasting well-being. For the Stoics, this ideal life derived from living with areti moral excellence, integrity, and doing what is ethical and right. Sometimes, despite ideals of non-aggression, Circumstances arise where using force becomes the most virtuous path forward. As Epictetus cautioned his students, if justice and right reason are attacked, we must strike out and defense them. Ankh, Ajja, Senub. Life, Strength, Health. Learn, Like and Subscribe. Copyright 2024 W. Kenneth Money. All rights reserved. Mart's Feather of Truth is a registered trademark of Project Maya Publishing, Chicago, Illinois.